Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to share with you my very first trial run with what's called the Joy Mop. And of course you can get this on Amazon. I'll have the link to where you can pick one up yourself as well. And what it is, is a squeeze flat mop and bucket system. Now, the reason why I'm so interested in this product is because currently... I'm using a Swiffer and it's very expensive replacing the pads and getting the fluid all the time. So now I figured, well, this will be a great way to save some money, uh, especially with the rising prices of food and the economy the way that it is. Um, I thought it would be a great idea to be able to just squeeze this mop clean every time I do a few passes on my floor. And then I can use any detergent that I want that I find affordable and that works well. So I'm going to be opening this. I'll show you what it looks like. And of course, I'll show you how well it works. So I'd like to show you what came inside the bucket. So here's the mop pad, the actual base. This is the pole. This looks like two extra pads. And this is the top where you put your mop squeegee. So I'm gonna put this together and give it a trial run. So this is how it looks right out of the box. As you can see, everything is nicely stowed away inside of there. I love the size. It's not really huge and overwhelming to deal with. I'll show you real quick. Uh, when you put the pole together, it's really easy. These just screw into each other and then the bottom one just clips on. And all you need to do is just pull this piece up. This piece came with a mop head attached to it, a mop pad, and then you get two others, okay? And they, I think they're all identical. This one just has a different pattern on it. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna fill up the bucket now and get started. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that this side is for wash, this side is for dry. So after you're done cleaning, you submerge the mop in here and then you take it out and you push it through here and it dries it. So very simple premise to use. There's also a handle here that says lock and lift to unlock. And then you can just lift this right out and fill up the bucket and clean it and do whatever it is that you need to do. But very, very easy premise. Um, you just push it in and it locks and then lift it open to unlock it. Use this side for wash, this side for dry. So I'm going to give this a go and see how it works out. Find inside the bucket, it comes with a little two-page instruction guide that tells you exactly what you need to do. It's very easy to operate and very easy to put together. When you fill up the bucket, you want to make sure you go right up to that max water line. This way the entire mop is submerged and gets cleaned and nice and wet. Before you start using it, they recommend that you wet the mop first. So just put some water on it and then you can get going. Okay, so I wet this sponge, the mop attachment, and I'm just pushing it in and then pulling it out. And as you can see, it's really wet. Now I'm going on the dry side pushing it through and it says um, that if you do it like one time it's moderately dry uh, another like you push it through again and I think like probably three times it would be completely dry or fully dry not completely but probably fully but I want it kind of wet I haven't mopped the floors in like three days because I wanted to try this mop so I want to get it uh, I want to get a good clean and I think my sponge needs to be a little on the wet side. So now I'm going to try and mop the floor and see how it goes. Okay, so here it goes. Um, it's pretty easy to use, obviously. It gets right up into the corner and, and again, I'm glad I left it a little on the wet side because there's a lot of cooking in my kitchen and a lot of spilling of food and things on the floor. So, we'll go another little area over here. This, of course, is my dog's messy situation. And it glides really nicely. It swivels around really nicely, too. So, so far, so good. And now, let's see, I did this little area. 
and I'm going to put the mop back in and see how much dirt came off. Now, of course, you can give it a few pumps up and down to get it nice and clean and just kind of resubmerge it into the water a few times. Okay, and then just pop it over to the dry side and I'm gonna see how much dirt is in the water. So this is only after one run and you can see the water's pretty dirty. So that means the mop, the mop worked really well. So here's the dirty water and as you can see the mop did its job. It, it really cleaned that little area of floor there and uh, it did a great job. And I have to say, it's it's super easy to use. Um, I think I'm going to save a lot of money on those pads and cleaning chemicals that come with the Swiffer that you have to buy. It's like you buy that Swiffer and you just get looped up into having um, a commitment of forever to buy the cleaning pads and the cleaning fluid. And I love this idea so much better and of course, this is called Joy. I'm assuming it's mop with two O's. One of the other things that I really appreciate about this mop is if I wanna clean my baseboards, it makes it ever so easy to do that. I can just glide right along and get them all clean without having to bend over and you know work five times harder than I should. So uh, another quick, great idea to clean um, with the joy mop is your windows. I mean, this is a big sliding glass door and as you can see, I can easily clean it. I guess I can spray Windex on this too and shine it up after I'm done cleaning it. It's really a great way just to make cleaning um, overall easier in your home and I think being able to clean my windows with this is a brilliant idea. I can also shorten the stick too. Uh, if I needed to just to make it easier to clean some of the windows in my house But just wanted to put that out there. So if you need to clean windows, this is the perfect way to do it Another thing you can do is clean your walls as well. And of course the same principle applies You can make it as damp or as wet as you like it and this here is stick wood on the walls and it, it can be very difficult to clean but with my joy mop it makes everything so much easier. I will, of course, have the link to where you can purchase one of these. I love it. I mean, I can't imagine um, any other easy and more affordable way to clean my floors. And then you have two other pads you can use alternately. If you need, you just slide them off and the instruction manual shows you how to do that, although it's so simple. And I'm super happy with this. And this is going to be my go-to mop to clean my house. It's that simple. For a $40 investment, $39.99, um, within a month, I'll save money just because those pads are so expensive for the Swiffer and the cleaning fluid. So this is brilliant. I love it. It was easy to use. All you do is fill it up with water, put some detergent in there, I mean, I, I would imagine the most arduous thing to do is just dump the water out. And that's not a difficult task and, and worth saving so much money to do. So this is it for me. Thank you guys for creating such an awesome product. I mean, it's so easy to use. It's that simple. Okay, guys, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Again, I'll have the link in the description of this video as well as in an article on sassytownhouseliving.com. If you could please subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my website, I'd greatly appreciate it. We have a really good newsletter that goes out with freebies and all sorts of good information. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. Thanks again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day. Thank you.